The Byte 5 can support discharge testing. It can be used to measure the cell voltages throughout the discharge of the string. Take manual measurements of each cell throughout the discharge process. You can then view the data of each cell throughout the discharge or view each pass made of the string. And the Byte 5 can support measurements up to 1000 volts DC. If the optional DC current clamp is used, the Byte 5 will also measure the DC current throughout the discharge process. Note, the Byte 5 can also be configured to record voltage, temperature, and impedance throughout the discharge. This can be useful during string commissioning, allowing the user to record the impedance values throughout the discharge. This will allow the user to use this data to set the impedance limits for future tests. This process is covered in the discharge slash impedance video. To perform a discharge test, you'll use the standard voltage leads. Connect the voltage leads to the banana jack inputs on the Byte 5. Press and hold the power button until the unit turns on. The unit will now boot up to the main screen. From the main screen, select the VA icon. Then select Discharge. Press Select to select a string for testing. Select the desired string to test. Now, if that string is not present, please view the string configuration video. Once you've selected the string, press OK. You can select Continue, which will allow you to continue a test that you are already in the process of performing, or you can select New Test to start a new test. For this example, we'll select New Test. The Byte 5 is now ready to test the string. The string name will be displayed on the screen, along with the low voltage limit. The Byte 5 will show the pass number through the string and it will show the cell number to be measured. Now, measure the first cell. The Byte 5 will make an auditable beep when the measurement is complete, and it will display the measured voltage and the measured current if the CT is being used. The Byte 5 will show if the measured value passed or failed. This value will be based on the voltage limit programmed in the string configuration file. Now, proceed to the next cell. Continue this process until you've reached the last cell on the string. Once you've reached the last cell, the unit will ask you if you're done or you want to make another pass through the string. If you're done with the discharge test, select End. If you want to make another pass through the string, press Next. At any time, you can retake a measurement. Just select Manual Cell Select. The unit will ask you if you wish to just do this once or continuous. If you choose once, then you'll just retest the one selected cell. If you select continuous, then you'll be able to retest all the cells starting with the one you picked. Select the desired cell you wish to remeasure, then retake the measurement. Once you retake the measurement, the unit will ask you if you wish to start a new pass through the string or if you're done. If you wish to start a new pass through the string, select Next. If you're done, press End. When your testing is complete, you can either go and view the data, see Viewing Recorded Data video, or just shut the unit down. All the data is now saved.